Pono Music just became the third most successful Kickstarter campaign of all time. It promises to have a new sort of device that allows you to listen to music exactly the way it was meant to be heard. Here with me is Pono Music CEO, John Hamm. Now, in some ways, Pono Music's real challenge is just getting started because now you guys have to live up to the hype. What, what is the Pono vision? Well, Pono Music really is, uh, is a vision of being able to give people a very convenient experience of the best sounding digital music in the world. Uh, you know, in the history of music since it's gone digital, you could either have it highly convenient and not very high quality, or you could have it really high quality and very inconvenient. And so our mission was, we knew the artists were making great mu music in the studios. We knew it was being recorded in a quality level much different than most people were hearing it. So ours was really kind of a, as Neil says, saving an art form. You know, like going to actually get that music back at the source in its finest form. What is the technology that you all figured out? It, it's a delivery system, a playback system, and it's the content itself. So we really kind of were a back to the source, farm to table kind of thinking here, where we went back to the studios and to the artists and asked them how they felt about quality. And we found that there was a lot of dissatisfaction in both communities. You know, the labels were, had music in their vaults that was of such higher quality than most people were listening to. And the artists were making music that was of such higher quality than anybody was listening to. Not anybody, but most people. So we started with the music. We knew we could, we could go get it at a better quality level. Um, Neil and the other artists that are investors and, and participants in our company had great label relationships, so we started there. We got access to all those digital files at their highest possible quality resolution, the, the, what they were recorded at. And then we moved to how would we deliver that? And we really went back in, in great tribute and honor to Apple and Steve Jobs and looked at the iPod iTunes infrastructure. And, and that kind of from a framework standpoint is the right way for us because we're dealing with high res now. And so we added, so then the third thing was to have a, a, a playback device. And so we built the Pono player. And um, this is a black Pono player. We, um, we also make this in yellow and clear plastic. And how about this response that you all heard on Kickstarter? You raised more than $6 million when your initial goal was a fraction mm. of that. Was that surprising to you? You know, we went to Kickstarter not just because we thought it was a great place to do a, a, a funding event for, for the project called Pono Music. In our case, what really appealed to it is it was so much more direct to the consumer. And I think what we were more not surprised for than the amount of financial uh, uh, resource we got through it was the engagement with the community and the energy and the engagement of that community. Right, people talk about how the general audience has even gotten used to worse music than we even had 30 years ago. I mean, vinyl in a lot of ways is a lot better than a ringtone, oh, you know, yeah. kind of experience when you listen to it. So I'd imagine that there's a little bit of education that you have to do. There is, um, and, and, we, and we've begun to do that, not only just through the specific conversation, but just through the notion of Kickstarter being such a big deal. It's attracted so much curiosity. And well, can I try it myself you can. to hear I'd how this quality is going to um, So this is a prototype Pono player. Okay. Um, this was an engineering model, and um, we'll, uh, we'll be completely redoing the UI on this. We've actually just hired a couple of really snazzy UI designers, great engineers. Um, we're going to rethink how the user interface works. But we needed to build one good enough to figure out how good it sounded. Okay. And so I'll just let you put a pair of headphones on here. People often ask, do I need the world's best headphones? And the truth is that Pono starts at the source, and it's, as, you know, it's great from the source. This is called the Pono Smile. It's really, Love really rich. Is a burning thing. It really sounds like you're right there. It does. And this is an old recording. A 30-year-old recording. So it's always been there in the music. Yeah. You just couldn't really always hear it. If, if they got it in the studio, then we have it on, on the Pono music file. And so that's really what we're getting people to be able to see and to, to hear, is that that music was always there. So tell me what the plan is now. How many people are on your team? Where is the $6 million going to? When can we expect to be able to buy this thing? We're shipping the first 10,000 of these in October. 
Uh, we didn't realize we'd have to have a second production run on Kickstarter. So um, the first 10,000 October, the rest of the Kickstarter commitments in December, and then anything that's ordered at our site between now and then will ship in December. So we're delighted about that. We're going to have 10,000 people with Pono players in October. We have a small team here that we're expanding rapidly. We're looking for six or eight engineers and four or five marketing people and some content people. Uh, we just got office space over in Potrero. Our job now is to go build this thing and to bring up our site and bring up our store and to load that store with all the content. And, uh, and as much as $6 million is a ton of money, I mean, obviously right now we're seeing venture capital rounds much bigger than that. Are you talking to VCs as well? With our Kickstarter campaign, we knew we could finish the rest of the player, take it to manufacturing, and finish our site and our store. And that was what was good for Kickstarter. We're going to raise some equity capital on the back of that in May and June that allow us to do more of a company financing. Right. So for the company, you still have a lot more. Yeah. For the company, we, want, we just really want to grow into the marketplace. There's lots and lots of marketing opportunities for us. A lot of partnership opportunities, a lot of co-branding, a lot of associations with other. But really what we want to focus on is the content. We just want to put, we want to get people access to content they've just never had before at quality levels they've never heard. Sounds great. Good mission. Well, John, thank you for having us by and showing us Pono, and keep us posted. I will. Thank you.